channel. I've finally done it, I've finally finished packing for South America. We fly next week and we're going for a month, travelling through Peru, Bolivia, Chile and Easter Island. We'll also be hiking on the Inca Trail as well in Peru, so I'm really looking forward to that. But what I wanted to do was film everything that I've actually taken with me, so hopefully it might be able to help you with what you decide to take. I'm going to be taking two bags, one of which is a day pack, a low alpine air zone, it's about an 18 litre bag. What will be in here is all my photography gear, so you will notice there's no photography gear here. I thought I'd keep that separate just in case you weren't interested in all the ins and outs of all the gear. So I have done a separate video on that which I will put a link to in the description box below if you're interested. But otherwise everything else is going to be fitting in my main backpack. Now don't laugh when you see this, <laughs> this bag has been with me nearly 20 years and I don't know if you've ever watched my first video but I explain about when I started getting into minimalism. So I had a huge declutter, started getting rid of so many different things, I did get rid of a lot of other bags but this one remained and it is a little bit grim, it's a really old bag, it's falling apart, all these buckles here have broken. This clasp doesn't really close properly. I probably stitched these back on about five or six times. The belt buckle doesn't really close and I think a few zips on it stick as well. But saying all that it is still functional. I did buy a really gorgeous bag last year. We hiked the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path and it took us about two weeks and we constantly had all our gear on our backs including like tents and everything like that and we needed a really good bag for that and it was it was perfect you know for that type of travel but where we're going we're going to be going from different hotels and hostels campsites all those kind of things every single day i think we're traveling somewhere different so the bags are going to get thrown about quite a lot strapped onto 4x4s um thrown you know go through lots of different airports so i didn't mind using this because it's kind of old and i don't mind it getting a bit wrecked or dirty and it is still functional. It is 65 litres and I'm hoping I don't get anywhere near that when I fill it. Um, but looking at that bag over there, if I will explain that later. What I actually do with this, because it's not waterproof, is put a waterproof liner in it. So this is a proper waterproof bag that you can fill, you twist round and then you clip so it's fully watertight. I actually line the bag with this so it keeps everything safe and then I just stuff all my things in there, usually using them like packing cubes or roll things. But yeah, that's all I'm taking. So, let me go through everything in a bit more detail, section by section, and I hope you enjoy this video and that it helps if you're travelling anywhere and you're looking for some ideas. These are all the tops I'm taking with me, so bearing in mind some days can be as warm as 30 degrees Celsius and some days it can be as cold as minus 8 degrees Celsius. So I like to take two really casual bras with me, one's a yoga style one, and one's a sports bra, five t-shirts, short sleeved, three long sleeve t-shirts, four shirts, these will be for daytime and evening, and two fleeces. I will also be travelling in this t-shirt, which I absolutely love, a hoodie with a zip, and a puffy. The trousers I'll be taking is a pair of thermal leggings for those freezing cold nights, a pair of casual trousers, really comfortable, pair of shorts and three pairs of trousers. I'll also be travelling in these. I know a lot of people like to wear really really comfy things when they're travelling but I always think if my bag got stolen would I have something that I'm wearing that would see me through the first couple of days and because we're doing the trek on the second day of our trip I wanted to have these available to me. The rest of the clothes I'll be travelling with are a waterproof jacket, a baseball cap, a scarf, swimming costume. One thing I will really recommend if you're trying to pack light and especially if you're backpacking, don't carry a designated pyjama set or nighty. I always carry a really comfy t-shirt and a pair of leggings to use as pyjamas. The reason being is if you run out of t-shirts for the day or you just want to swap them out if you get a little bit bored, these don't look like pyjamas so you can just wear them during the day if you need to. I like the three pairs of underwear, I have the Ex Officio, the Sumi, and I think this is just a Marks and Spencers brand, but all three of them you can wash and they dry really really quickly. Three pairs of socks, pair of gloves, 
and I do have to carry an ankle support because I sprained my ankle about three months ago and it's still recovering. These are all the shoes I'm taking with me, so just three pairs. I'll be travelling in the hiking boots. Now these have got a really great ankle support on them, but they are quite heavy and bulky. They're fairly new, I've had them about a year and a half, um, and they're doing well so far, but I might actually swap these out for an old pair that I've got here. Ever since I got into minimalism, I've been trying to declutter, but because there's still a little bit of life left in them, I feel like I still need to wear them out a little bit. I'll also be taking a pair of running shoes with me, so if I do want to go running, at least I've got these with me, but if not, they're still really, really comfortable to walk about in. Again, these are quite an old pair, so it would be nice to wear these out a little bit more too. And of course, flip-flops. These are really perfect, obviously for going on the beach or near water or if it's just really, really hot. But also if you're staying in hostels or camping, they're a great shoe to have, especially if you don't want to be walking around barefoot on the floors there as well. This is a microfiber towel, so it packs up really light. I take a face cloth. This is actually a muslin cloth, and it doubles up as an exfoliator as well as a face cloth. I always take a sleep liner with me, especially if we're staying in hostels. I also take a buff. This usually doubles up with my travel pillow. So I've got a really nice compact travel pillow here. It's a Sea to Summit Eros pillow. And I do always like to take an extra scarf. This is my miscellaneous pile, but most importantly, it includes the passport. <laughs> so I always have mine in a case just to keep it a little bit more protected. I, inside here, I always carry my vaccination certificate. So I've got a yellow fever and a general record of all the vaccinations that I've been covered for. So if I ever do end up in hospital, at least they know exactly what I've been given. Always take a photocopy of your passport and keep it separate. So if you do lose your passport, you've still got all the details. I always keep this in my main luggage. I also email it to myself. So if I'm ever out and about, I can still go to an internet cafe or get it on my phone and have all the details there too. I also travel with photographs. So if I ever need them for visas, traveling between countries, I've got them prepared there as well. I always like to take a water bottle with me and I absolutely adore this one. It's an aluminium one and it's one litre. But what I really like about it is that it's got a carabiner on. So when I put this in my day pack, I can just attach it on. So when I'm bending down, it's not going to fall out the side pockets. It just prevents using plastic water bottles all the time. It always starts off empty. I get through airport security and then if there's any little water places there, I'll always fill it up for the plane. When I'm traveling, one thing I absolutely adore taking is books. I always take books about the country that I'm going to. I do tend to take travel guides with me as well, but my other half, he's taking all those about the countries this time, so I don't need to, which is great. This is just a little notebook that I can actually fill on a day-to-day -day basis with everything that I'm doing that day, and it's a really good reminder of what I've done, where I've been, and also when I'm taking photographs, I can remember what the places are called, and obviously I need a pen to go with it, so I always travel with those. A security belt, so I wear this around my waist, and I put my money, my passports in it when I'm traveling and it's a real safe, secure place to leave them without having it hanging off your arm or in the hotel. I take this to the airport with me and in it I put my passport, all my travel documents and a little wallet as well so it holds some notes. With my travel documents, what I do, I print them all out and put them all in the order in which I'm gonna use them. So the first thing in here will be the flight details and then the hotel transfer and where we're staying on the first night, things like that. So that all stays in there and then on an evening it's got strap on it at the back so you can just throw it over your shoulder and use it as a little bag so you're not having to take your day pack out with you. I also like to take with me a little um, Swiss army knife and I also always like to take waterproof bags with me. So these I think are by Osprey. Yeah, Osprey. This one's a three litre and this one is a six litre bag. And I keep these in my day pack, so the smaller one I'll usually put things like my passport in or my books. And the bigger one I can quickly wrap around my camera if it starts raining. And lastly here I've got my sunglasses case with my sunglasses in it. I tend to put things like my gecko tripod holder in here when I'm travelling about during the day. So I know that it won't get broken at the bottom of my bag somewhere. My electronics are pretty self-explanatory. Obviously you've not seen any camera gear in this video, that's a separate one, but what I do take with me is my iPhone with the plug-in cable. I take earphones and I always like to keep them in this little bag, it drives me absolutely insane when they get tangled and I don't like the earbuds being out all the time. I take a travel converter, so I always carry different ones with me, and a head torch, and it's also got a whistle the extra batteries as well just in case I can't get them in the country 
And you'll see that I also put hair bobbles around things rather than elastic bands. It saves me carrying extra bobbles and I always end up losing them somehow. And now for the first aid kit. The first thing I take is allergy tablets, so the ones I take with me are Pyriton. These are really great if you do get bitten and you have quite a bad reaction, so it does take down the swelling and the itchiness. Anti-diarrhea tablets, no explanation required. <laughs> the painkillers I take with me, I do have migraines from time to time, paracetamol and ibuprofen as well. I always take a pack of plasters with me, rather than having lots of different sizes and taking up a lot of space, I just use the fabric strips and then I can cut them as I go, put them in a little bag. This has got cotton and a little safety pin in there as well. I always take a Tiger Balm, it smells really nice, but it's actually really good if you get any joint pains. So you just rub it on and it makes them feel a lot better. This is used instead of antihistamine cream. I find that using this, you click about five or ten times around where the bite is, inhibits the histamine release, which actually causes the itch. And I find it so much more effective, so you just literally put it around the bite and, and click. So it's like a little electric shock that you get when you do it. This is what I spray under my tongue on a morning for my B12 with me being vegan. When you know you're going to be in a really cold country or when you know that the temperatures are going to get really cold on a night, they're instant use, you just take them out and they're really good for warming your hands up and you can also put them in your socks as well if you get freezing cold feet. And of course, tissues. Most of the toilets that you go to when you're travelling don't have toilet paper. Now you'll notice I haven't got insect repellent here. The reason for that is it's still on its way to me. I had to order it online. I didn't realise that I'd run out of my last supply. The brand I use is called Incognito, so it's cruelty free and vegan. I really like that one, it seems to work really well for me. I'm not so much of a fan of DEET, I tend to find that it really burns my skin, so I do struggle with it. I really like this product because it's shampoo, but I can also use it as a body wash as well. This is just a standard raw organic coconut oil that I've put into this glass jar. And I use coconut oil as conditioner, body wash, um, foot cream, and yeah, it's, it's really, really handy. It saves me having to carry around loads of extra products. What I use on my face on a night time is this Green People 24 hour anti-aging cream. And I use this because I do suffer with sensitive skin. The deodorant I use is the Pit Rock Crystal. I really like this product, it smells really nice as well. And it's not got any aluminium in it. It's made with pure natural mineral salts, which is great. I use a bamboo toothbrush. Toothpaste I use is by Nature's Gate. Again, it's a natural product, um, got no nasties in it. I take minimal makeup with me when I travel. I always like to take a sheer skin tint, so this is kind of like a tinted moisturiser. I use a Beauty Without Cruelty black mascara, and then I take a bit of eyeshadow with an eyeshadow brush, the Gosh black eyeliner, and the Gosh eyebrow pencil as well. The sun products I use, Green People SPF 15 Sun Lotion. Now this is also an SPF product, so it's really, really good if you're wanting to use an all-body oil that's also got sun protection in there. I always keep my earbuds in here, keep them clean. I always take dental floss with me as well. I always take this out of the container and put it in a little plastic bag. Just saves a bit of space. A wooden comb, emery board, antibacterial hand gel. I tend to keep this in my day pack all the time. My menstrual cup. So obviously need the antibacterial hand gel when you're using that when you're out and about. And that's it. So remember this bag at the beginning that was full to the brim? Well, it actually contains all the food I'm taking with me on this trip. I always like to travel with an extra bag in my backpack. So if I'm ever buying anything that doesn't fit in, I've got this without having to buy plastic bags. I know I'm not going to go hungry on this trip because there's always going to be options for me. However, I do find that the options are usually quite limited and I end up living on rice and beans. Hopefully I'll be able to get lots of fruit and veggies and salads when I'm out there as well. But I like to take extra things so I know that I've got some choice as well while I'm out there. Now the things I like to take on the plane with me do vary depending on how long the flight is. Our travel time is about 18 hours I believe, so it's quite a long time and the food on the plane is not necessarily the most exciting option. I'm going to be taking some vegan sushi, sandwiches and also some fruit and maybe some salad. But a few extra snacks that I'm going to be taking are some Grey's protein bites. I'll take a couple out of this box, they do come in individual packets which is really handy. These are banana flavour, they're really tasty ones. I'll also be taking some dried pineapple, 
So I've just taken this, put it in a little bag, so I'm not having to carry the whole lot bag over there, which you can see. And also some ginger. So these are just hard boiled sweets that are made from ginger. They're really, really good if you ever suffer from travel sickness. I really, really love rooibos tea. So I find this a really nice alternative to tea or coffee, which I tend not to drink after breakfast time. I usually drink water all day and then on an evening I love to drink this. I don't mind it without milk, which is why I'm taking it as well, because I find that the soya milk and oat milk, when you go into other countries, especially the type of places we're going to be staying in, I think it's going to be pretty limited. For the plane, what I will do is I'll take out a couple of these and keep them in my bag so when they bring around the tea and coffee I can just ask for hot water. At lunchtime, I always find that you can always get things like vegetables or fruits or something like that that you can snack on. But I also like to supplement that with some protein bites. So I've got some cocoa vanilla ones here and I take Trek bars with me wherever I go. Even in this country, whenever I'm out and about, I always have a Trek bar in my bag. They contain about 9 grams of protein and they're really good with carbohydrates as well. I've taken 10 bars, so I've got the original oat ones and I've got some cocoa oat ones. I've also got some snack bars, I like these perky bars, these are quinoa bars and they've got cacao and cashew in them. They're really really tasty. You may have noticed a little bit of chocolate supply going on here. So I've got three little bars of chocolate, they're Tesco free from vegan chocolate bars and this Vigo bar. Now, if you're vegan and you like chocolate and you've not found anything that's really, really tasty, I would highly recommend these. They're absolutely gorgeous. I don't tend to eat a lot of chocolate at home, but I know when you're out and about and people are all having desserts at restaurants and you're feeling a bit sorry for yourself because there's no option for you, they'll be in my bag, so I'll have them as extras, which will be amazing. I've also got this gourmet pâté. I found this in my vegan whole food shop just last week and I've never tried it before but it's made with tofu, tomato and peppers. I'm really really looking forward to trying this and it comes in like a tin with a little um, peely lid so you don't have to worry about a can opener and I'm going to be able to spread that on bread or dip vegetables into it or something like that but I'm really really looking forward to having that with me. Now I never go anywhere without my trusty little Marmite pot. I take this wherever I go and I always get comments on it. I take it down to breakfast on a morning with me and I often find that just fruit on a morning is fine but if you need something a bit more um, substantial I'll tend to have some bread and I find that spreading this on it on a morning is really great. These pouches of cheer shots are really handy to take down and put on your breakfast. These primal strips are absolutely perfect for putting in my day bag during the day. I'm not going to say they're the healthiest of things but they do have 10 grams of protein and they're really really delicious. I've got a lime, a Texas barbecue and a Thai peanut flavour and what they look like is that. So you've just literally got vegan jerky in this wrap and they are so so tasty and they're really really chewy and I throw them in my backpack during the day as well. Another thing I really really recommend taking with you if you're vegan or you struggle getting some nice tasty food anywhere is these soup in a mugs. So these are vegan friendly ones obviously. And they're so hard to find in normal supermarkets because they normally have dried milk in them. But what I do with these, I'll either have them as a soup in a mug, so just ask for hot water wherever I go, or I will actually mix them with half the amount of water that it recommends or even less and use it as a sauce. So if I go somewhere and it's just rice and beans or just rice in some cases or just boiled potatoes, it has been known, I can actually just mix that in with some water and blend it into the food so it gives it a lot more taste. I also like to take some extra nuts with me. So I will end up being able to buy lots of nuts and seeds when I'm in places but I just carry these for the first few days so I know I'm getting that extra lot of protein. These are edamame beans with spicy whole chickpeas, cashews and also a bit of black pepper in there as well. They're really really tasty. And obviously the dried pineapple at the back so I can just, during the day, take some out of there, put it in this bag which will have been empty from the plane and take that round with me too. And that's everything, all packed and ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Give my video a like, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out my travel camera gear video if you're interested in seeing that. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.